So have prices level out or is there more room to go? That's really the big question. And you sure know, is. there's a couple, I would say misinformation out there, a couple myths that, you know, we wanted to get together and dispel today. But first let's, let's just quickly go through the numbers. So Treb released the numbers for November 2022. So that's comparing November 2021 to November 2022. So sales are down almost 50%. Prices are down uh, a little over 19% uh, from the February peak and down about 1% uh, from, from last month. So they're, they're basically, you know, flat. I like to say, you know, we're, we're back to 2021. August exactly 2021 price. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're back to where it was before it went crazy. Yeah, yeah. We had this massive peak, and then you know we're sort of we're sort of back to normal. You know, yeah. and the sales to new list, listings ratio is at about fifty percent. So that measures, you know, that's basically saying we're in a balanced market, and months of inventory are now close to three months, two point seven months. So that's those are kind of healthy. That's normal, right? That's like a normal market not a crazy toronto market so jordan like you know what are you seeing out there well i would see uh sort of at a macro level it's kind of interesting i would say that sellers if they don't have to sell yeah. are, are not selling um of course we deal with investors and regular buyers and sellers and you know on the investor side a lot of people were teasing the market if they've got they got a property that they bought for five hundred thousand dollars. Now it's on the market for one point five. They probably got a smaller mortgage, probably, and they don't have to. If they've leveraged that property and they've got a million two on a million, what they hope is a million five property, yeah, they might need to sell or they they very much want to sell. But in general, people who if you don't have to sell, they're not selling. Yeah, or they're putting at one price. They might make one price adjustment but they're not coming down all the way to, to guarantee a sell. And what that means on the buyer side is buyers are still out looking, but um, they're hesitant to make offers. And when they go, do go to make an offer, uh, you'll see a, prop, a property that's been on the, the for market a month, for, for a month. And then some, on one that was for a month. Somebody yeah. will make one bid, and then all of a sudden that day, there's be five of them. Yeah. People have been searching around because everybody's afraid to make the first yeah. move. It's, it's because of times of uncertainty, and that's it's fair. We understand it. I mean, you know, mortgage rates just went up today. So in times of uncertainty, uh, there's a typical scenario where there's great opportunity, but people are hesitant to jump in. Yeah. Right? And, and I will say a lot of sellers now are pausing for the holiday season. And truthfully, the, the, the conversation is, listen, the market's probably going to be back in the spring. Uh, you know, we'll talk maybe a little bit more well, but that's, about that. I think but that's what people are. I think people are kind of rationalizing it. Yeah. Well, let's face 100%. it, because people are sitting on the fence. And we, I personally believe there's going to be a number of people, are on particularly on our investor side, have been circling around that are going to kick themselves. Yeah. 100%. In six months and go, yeah. oh, I could have had that at X and now it's at Y. And Well, the problem is when it turns, it turns like that. It does. Right? As soon as buyer sentiment shifts. Yeah then it's going to be yeah. all hell breaking loose. That's a nice segue into some of the myths. So I think, you know, the first myth, and I, I read this one yesterday and I was like, what the heck? But a lot of people are saying, oh, prices have, you know, they flatlined, right? So the last few months, they haven't really dropped significantly. So they're saying, oh, these interest rate effects aren't now really changing the real estate market. The problem with that argument, you know, is ba basically these effects take a very long time to roll through to the average consumer. You know, just over 50% of the recent mortgages went variable. Uh, and even before that, you know, the, the ratios were a little higher, but so it doesn't hit everybody at once. And, you know, from talking to our clients and, you know, personally, some of our properties, we just hit trigger rates. So trigger rates yeah. mean, if you're variable, means then they readjust your mortgage. And now you're like, oh, okay. And, you know, people don't go from adjusting the trigger rate to, I gotta sell. They're like, okay, well, I'm gonna live with this. I'll maybe I'll eat craft dinner for a while. You know, they'll save money to pay the mortgage because you know, truthfully, switching like moving and getting another house, like all that stuff, is not easy, right? So it's it's not gonna happen like that. That stuff takes time. And in Canada, you know, if the power of sale process, like if you 
default on your mortgage payments, it's going to be a year before that property hits power of sale. It's not like in the States where, you know, they can like repo right. your house in 30 days or something. That is a myth and maybe it goes a little bit against the other myth. You know, prices still are going to fall by 20%, right? That's kind of what we were talking about. Yeah. And you know, basically what we're saying is they're, they've already fallen to 20%. Yes. Could they go a little bit further? Sure. Um, you know, and, and the difference is people are talking Canada, not GTA, right? You gotta be careful. Right. Because the GTA, as we know, we got immigration coming. Yes. Uh, all the builders stop building new places. So we're gonna have this massive supply crunch. Yeah, so overall that, that we've got our 20%, if you believe it was 20%. Yeah. We've got our, uh, as they've, said that mortgage rates probably aren't going to go higher. They're, they're, they've hinted that they're not going to go higher. Yeah. So you could basically say, is this potentially the worst point yeah. right now? Will it trickle through a little bit more? Well, we'll probably see after Christmas. Yeah. Um, the next meeting is Jan 25th. Yeah, yeah, so it's very possible that after that, we're going to see things start to creep the other way. The long and short of it is, you know, we still strongly believe in the Toronto real estate market. If we're not at, you know, the absolute bottom, we're pretty close. And I, you know, I had this conversation with a client friend today. Timing the market is really difficult, right? Yeah. Now is a great time to buy, right? Right. But let's just talk about strategy to that. What are people who are the sharp money doing? And what they're doing is they're saying, buy now or buy soon to now, you know, yeah. in the next, say, six months or so. And get your mortgage, maybe hang on to, maybe lock in for a year or two. Yeah. And then refi. Yeah. So... What or if you own a property and you can port that mortgage, right? You know, and you, you have a good it. rate, then you know, even if you're paying a little bit more, yeah, you can potentially blend it. But I would say, particularly say on the, the sharp money with investors who really you know own properties and are looking for bargains, yeah, they're they're buying now for the bargain price, yeah. Then they're going to refi when they think mortgage rates have gone back down. Yeah. So they're t they're playing both sides. Of it. They're going to try yeah. to buy low, and then get wait and wait till their mortgage rates. Uh, readjust and go back down. You know, which so. if you look at the at the yield curve, they are because <laughs> yep. the yield curve is now inverted. So, you know, exactly. the longer your mortgage, the cheaper it is right now, which yep. is yep. typically so. the other way around. So, and it is a great time to upsize. You know, for those yep. for those same reasons, like condo price condo sales aren't down as much, uh, but you could buy a house, like you buy a semi that's down. You know, almost twenty percent. Yeah. And you know, if you're looking to sell. You know, we do have some options where you can at least, you know, cover your mortgage and the cost of home ownership, you know, while you're sort of waiting out the return of the market. So, yep. you know, if any of that is of interest, uh, if you want to talk real estate, shoot us an email, info at thinkto.ca. We hope you found that hugely helpful. Uh, please like this video and smash that subscribe button so you know where to make more. And, uh, you know, have a happy holiday, I guess. Yeah, Merry Christmas and yeah. happy holidays.